Hey guys, it's Andre, and uh, today I'm going to teach you how to make your sneakers or any other object you want float in midair. Alright, so here's how I did it. Um, I took two pictures. The first one is just me holding the shoes. Uh, if we zoom in here, you can see that I just got a some fishing line holding it up. Alright, and then I also took a picture of just the background by itself. Uh, you have to make sure you use the same settings on your camera if you want this to work right. Uh, I'm also going to provide these pictures in a link in the description, so if you want to try this out for yourself, you're by all means, you're welcome to. But, uh, alright, let's get started. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this background file, and we're going to put it into the sneakers um, project. Okay, um, now I'm just going to make a layer from this. So you right-click, layer from background, click OK. All right, and then I'm going to put this on top, and we can see that the background is pretty much exactly the same. There's some cars here, but we're not going to worry about that. Um, so the first thing we want to do is crop out my arm. So there's a couple ways we can do this, but um, I think the best way is just to use the eraser tool. So you're just going to click over here, um, and we're going to set it to 0% hardness and a size of um, maybe 500-ish, around that. Okay, so all you're going to do is click and hold and watch as the magic happens. Um, so as you get closer to the shoe, you want to decrease the brush size, and you can do that using the square brackets left and right on your keyboard. Left bracket will go down, right bracket will make it go up in size. Uh, so you just want to make sure you get all of the finer details without erasing the without erasing the shoe itself. Now I'm just going to zoom in here too. Um, you can use the zoom tool, magnify it a bit, so we can get a closer look. Back to the eraser tool, just get rid of the entire hand. Um, we can even get rid of some of the string too. And see, the good thing about having a background already shot is that you don't have to really worry about um, using the clone stamp tool or anything like that to replicate the background because you have it. So as we get closer to the shoe, you're going to find that the eraser tool isn't really going to be the best tool for this, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to use the pen tool to get rid of these finer details. I'm going to try to get as much of the... Ooh, Notice that I kind of deleted some of the shoe there, so let's go back, Control Z. Um, we're going to get this as close as I can to the shoe, and then I'm going to switch to the pen tool, which is down here. Okay, and we're going to make a selection on every part of the string that is still in the background. So using the pen tool, you click to make your starting point, and then you click and drag to create that curve that matches the shoe, and then this part doesn't really matter, so I'm just going to go like that, okay, um, I'm going to right click and make a selection, okay, so I'm going to set the feather radius to just one, and then all you have to do is press delete on your, on your keyboard and boom, it's good, um, so grab the select tool, just click anywhere to get rid of that selection, can go back to the pen tool and then just start doing this for the rest of the shoe. So again, click to make your starting point, then click and drag to create these curves. You're going to right click again, make selection, enter, and delete. Look at that. And right, then we got this last little piece here. Let's get rid of that. And again, you're going to right click make selection, click OK, and delete. All right, so it's looking pretty good already, um, but we still have these strings down here that we want to get rid of. Now this part's a bit more tricky, um, so for this, I'm going to actually use the clone stamp tool, okay? So we're going to start with uh, this bigger piece of string here. Um, grab your clone stamp tool, which is right here, all right, um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to select an area that matches approximately what we want to erase. So um, you can do that by holding Alt, okay, and I'm going to select uh, around here, 
and you'll notice it gives you a little preview of what the overlay is going to look like for that clone stamp. So I'm just going to click and then drag down. But notice that I don't want to encounter that white part of the shoe right there. So I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to make another selection, this time a bit higher up. That way uh, we don't get this part in the way. Actually, maybe over here because we got a bit of that darker area. So click there. Okay. Um, go down. I'm going to select again. Like that. And now um, just keep making selections. Uh, right here, uh, we want to make sure we get this line. So I'm going to select maybe right here. That looks like it can work. And go up and boom it's gone except for this part still got to do that so again make a selection drag up and down okay that looks pretty good um, and we got this last piece of string here so again we're going to use the clone stamp tool select an area that about matches this part let's say this is pretty good just click and drag and make another selection Again, click and drag, and boom. I think that looks pretty good. So let's just uh, have it fit the screen, and perfect. Now all we can, all we need to do is maybe give it a bit of a crop, just to put it in the forefront. And there you have it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, comment, and uh, subscribe, because we're going to be trying to make more videos more often. And uh, let me know if that helped you out. Thanks for watching.